Good afternoon, everyone. You can um you can hear. Good afternoon, doctor. All right, thank you, Isma. Um, now, let's uh, continue with our lesson of chapter two. Okay, um, the last activity that we stopped the other day is on activity 2.9, right? So, um, we are going to try this out together. Um, however, I think it's best um, at the end of this, uh, at the end of today's class, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign um, any of you uh, to present um, some of the activities that we are going to try out next class. Uh, so I, it's not just me that will do the talking, all right, during the class every time. Um, I need participation from all of you as well. So what I'll do is I'm going to identify who's going to uh, present um, the solution or present your uh, work, eh? Um, to solve some of the activities next uh, class. So let's uh, look at this activity here, activity 2.9. Okay, we have here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this. Okay then, now you should be able to look at the whole right. Okay then, uh, let's look at activity 2.9 um you have here a triangular channel okay a triangular channel with apex angle when is it vertex or apex angle it's it is this one all right the angle of the you know the triangular there uh, wait now just a second oops I keep going to the left. Okay then. Um, so we have a triangular triangle section, eh? So which carries flow at one point two cumac, then at depth of zero point eight meter. Right. This is uniform depth, eh? Depth of uniform flow. Um, the bed slope would be 0 0.009. That means 9 to the power of minus 3. Eh? Um, the question asks you to find roughness coefficient of C and N, which is a Chazy and Manning lah, roughness coefficient. Um, okay. Um, now, let's look at the formula that we are going to use. Uh, we are going to identify which variables are uh, available, which should we find out, all right? So we have here, um, in order to find Chazy roughness coefficient, what we are going to use, because we have discharge, we have um, um, bed slope, we have the normal depth, we have, you know, angle here, that means we actually can find Z, all right? So let's look at this. Um, we have Chazy, because I'm writing the Chazy formula, 
um, I'm using the uh, Q eh, instead of velocity eh, because um, the, the given variable is Q. So I have here C A R to the power of half as not half. This is Chazy equation. And Manning equation would be 1 over N A R 2 to the power of 2 third. And then I have S not to the power of half. Um, now, you know, we earlier we have seen relationship between um, Chazy coefficient and Manning coefficient. Once you solve Chazy coefficient, you can straight away find Manning using that relation. Or you can solve for Chazy using this equation and Manning using this equation. Just in case you are worried that, you know, your Chazy answer is wrong. Because once it's wrong, when you're using this Chazy to solve for N, then this will be wrong too. Unless you want to solve it, you know, uh, separately. So using, uh, you know, two different equations. Now, let's try to find Chazy roughness coefficient first. Uh, let's see here. So, um, this is this is what we are going to find. This is available. This is available. So basically, we need to solve for the uh, area of flow and the hydraulic radius first. That means we need the wetted parameter as well. So therefore, uh, what we need to do is we need to find to solve for uh, flow area. So we need to know our z value. Um, okay, I need somebody to help me, uh, give me the Z value. So, could I have, um, Alia Abdul Razak? Who is Alia Abdul Razak? Yes. Is Alia Abdul Razak there? Yes, okay. Hello? Okay. Alia is not there, eh? Okay, if Alia is not there, could I have Kathleen Anak Dennis? Kathleen? Uh, yes, doctor. Okay, Kathleen, uh, how can I get this scale, huh? this horizontal scale of the side slope? Uh, 180 degree minus 75. Uh, Kathleen, I could not hear you. Uh, 180 degree minus 75 degree. Okay, so that would be? Uh, uh, because I divide it by 2, so it will become okay. 52.5. Alright. So, this, the 52.5 is this angle, eh, eh, oh, 52.5 is this angle, eh? Uh, wait, let's uh, yeah. is joining, okay. Alright. So, therefore, I'm going to redraw this. So, you said this is 52.5, right? So, I uh, have yeah. here 1, I have here Z. So, how, how am I, how are we going to determine this Z? Uh, using tangent fifty two point five one over a and one over z. Okay, so therefore z is one over tangent fifty two point five degree. Okay, um, you can do that or okay or you see ah, uh, you have this triangular triangle section triangular section. What I'll do is. If I, like you said, eh, uh, Kathleen, if I split it into half, this would be 37.5, right? So this is equivalent to 37.5 too. Am I right? Because, yes. you know, uh, we are taking vertical, right? Uh, lines here. So this is 37.5. So this is 1. This is Z. So what I could do is, okay, I could have tangent 37.5 equals to z over 1. So straight away z is tangent 37.5. Now either way, Kathleen, you are not wrong, you are right. If you solve for this, you'll get the answer as this. It's the same, huh? so it doesn't matter. Okay, you can work both ways. It doesn't matter. So because this angle is like you said, Kathleen, this is 57, oh, sorry, 52.5. All right. Okay, so it's the same, all right, either way. But this is straightforward, right? Okay, this is it, it's the same, all right? 
um, you are using calculator though. It's not, uh, um, it, it, it's no problem. So Kathleen, what is the answer then? Kathleen? Um, for 1 over tangent 52.5? Yes. Um, I got 0 0.7673. Mm, all right. 0 0.7673. Uh, no unit. Eh? Now, if you solve for this, you'll get the same answer, which is uh, 0 0.7673. It's the same eh? either way. All right. It will give you the same answer because you're using, you know, it's, it's the same triangle. All right. Either way. It's the same triangle, so you'll get the same answer. Okay. Um, don't worry, Kathleen. Um, sometimes I'll use, like, I, I'm using your method as well, so it doesn't matter. So, therefore, okay, let's continue. Uh, once we have Z, we can actually find our flow area already. So, area for triangle, triangular section will be Z, Y squared. Um, Adip Raza, I think I saw your name here. Adip, are you there? Adip? Yes. Okay, Adip, could you please uh, solve for this guy here, the flow area for me? 0 0.4911. Okay, great. Thank you. And could I continue, please, Adip? Um, let's solve for this. We have 2y, 1 plus z squared. Therefore, this would be 2, 0.81 plus 0 0.7673 squared. So what is uh, this? 2.017. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, now, here's the thing. You can actually find for your hydraulic radius. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't want to find it. Uh, that means you can substitute it directly here. It doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is this time, I'm not going to find my hydraulic radius. So I'm going to straight away use my uh, this uh, Chazy uh, flow resistant uh, formula. Eh? So I have there. So I, I already have my A and P, right? So what I'm going to do is I have I'm rewriting, eh? Basically, now uh, I'm going to rearrange this uh, because we need to find. Chazy coefficient. So I'm going to rearrange this formula to make uh, and make C as the subject of this formula. So I have C Q A R half S not half. Okay, then I'm going to combine A and R. Okay, so I'm going to have A and P only. So I have C. It looks simpler, right? The formula. Are you guys okay? Okay. Okay, eh? All right. So, straight away, we have 2.017 to the power of half. Um, then I have 0 0.4911 to the power of 3 over 2. And 0 0.009 to the power of half. Okay, uh, just now who said okay, could you help me, give me the answer please? Hey, Jeff. Okay. Uh, fifty two point one nine six four. Um, could could you guys check for me as well? I yeah, I got the same too. So this is my answer. All right, because I basically. Wait, I'm going to check. Okay, correct. Basically, because I write my answer in two decimal, uh, sorry, four significant number. Eh? Okay, sorry, my alarm. Okay, four significant number. So I have 52.20. All right. Um, all of you got the same, same answer? 
Yes. yes. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now I could actually find my manning using the relationship. Okay, but uh, you know, be relationship between manning coefficient and cheesy. However, I could also write rewrite it in terms of the using the manning lah formula. So what I'm going to have is. Okay, agree with this? Hey, sorry, sorry. This is supposed to be 5 over 2. 5 over 3, eh? Hey, uh, 5 over 3. Sorry. This one, eh? I have error there. Could you help me check? Okay. So what's the answer of manning and? 0 0.015 Okay, great. Thank you. So it's 0 0.01514 0 0.01514 eh, to make it for significant numbers lah. Okay. Um, any questions so far? Uh, doctor. Yes. Uh, if I use another formula to find a C, okay or not? Okay, uh, the formula which is R to the power of 1 over 6, is it? No, I just see equal to 23 plus 0 0.0015 over S0. Oh, the CG resistor get, factor. Where, I'm sorry, where did you get the formula? The CG resistor factor. CG resistor factor. Um, yeah, slide 20. Slide 20, okay. Wait, uh, I'm going to look at the slide. When you say slide 20. Oh, I think this one is it? We are using this. No. Then which one? A oh, basin. The basin coefficient. We are using basin coefficient. A uh, basin formula is it? Yes, dua pro. And dua pro. Page twenty. Uh, sorry, sorry. I think my slide because I have addition in here. Oh, so uh, this, this, this is the one that you are using. Yeah. So where did you get your M? Uh, I find the N first. Uh, but however, M is actually subjective depending on type of channel, right? Yeah. I didn't give you any type of channel. Uh, I use the formula. You use this formula? Uh, you yeah. are using this formula, right? I use many, many formula to find the N first. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that would be a hustle, right? Huh, okay. You can actually try ah, okay. That's different because you know what? Uh, this basin coefficient is actually is actually estimation as well. So if you have too many estimation, that means it will differ a bit. But however, uh, if you are using the right formula and your calculation is right, I'm going to give you full mark as well. Okay. All right, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. However, I'm not sure how you determine M though because yeah. I never give you. I use the formula time. number one. You use this formula, okay? Yeah. This one, uh? um, you find chase C. Oh, okay. Oh, I understand. Okay, okay, you can use this as well. But how are you going to relate the discharge all in here? And 
N is the manning. Yeah. That means you find manning first, then yes. you find chazy. Yeah. Um, I think I think if you do that, isn't it simpler if you use this formula? Oh. Right. This is the formula that I talk about. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, this is better <laughs> rather than you want to use that. Okay, thanks, eh? All right. It doesn't matter uh, if you can show, if you are using that formula, I'm going to give you for back too, but you'll spend some time. Lah. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, eh? Okay, great. So, okay then. Um, now, let's look at... Uh, let's, let's look at um, our next question, eh? Okay, we have we have solved for this, all right? Okay, let's look at our next question. Um which is activity two point one ten. All right. Um so basically the question asks uh, us to determine the length of the channel. Um, you see, uh, um, do, do you realize that, you know, in this chapter, right, from activity one, right, until now, we have been using Manning and Chazy formula because this top, this chapter is on uniform flow. Um, therefore, we are using Chazy and Manning formula because only Chazy and Manning are used to determine depth of uh, uniform flow lah, to analyze characteristics of uniform flow. Therefore, in this chapter, right, it revolves around these two equations lah, basically. So, um, for activity 2.10, uh, we have a trapezoidal channel. Eh? The bottom width is 25 meter. The side slope is 1, 2.5. Um, discharge is, oh, this is a very huge discharge. Imagine that in one second, you have 450 meter cube of water flowing. Eh? Um, the normal depth would be 3.5. Uh, this is huge too. Uh, this is double of our height. Eh? Our, we are like 1.5, 1.6 meter, but this is, uh, more than double okay of our height um and then elevation at the beginning and end of the channel are so this is this is a cross section so when it says the elevation of the channel okay so uh, this is our cross section basically this is our trapezoidal channel so this is the elevation eh, along the channel upstream we have um 685 meter our elevation and then downstream the elevation is 650 meter uh, now the flow would be coming from uh, of course flowing down from higher ground to lower ground lah. Uh, this is gravitational flow eh? so mm, manning is 0 0.02 now look at this question manning is given q is given uh, what else? Um, so, um, I guess we can find A and P, right? So, let's write out the Manning formula because we know we are going to use Manning uh, formula already. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to rearrange this. You see, uh, this is all we can find. We can find for A and R. This is given. This is given. So therefore, the only unknown would be the slope, longitudinal slope. So I'm going to rearrange this formula. I have S not to the power of half, half equals to Q N A R to the power of two over three. So I have that. So now I can solve for this. And uh, I need to find for A and R first. So my A would be BY plus ZY squared. So this would be 25, 3.5. Help me calculate. Eh? Uh, 2.5 and then 3.5 squared. Uh, so what would be this? The area of flow? 
118.125. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm using four significant number, eh? so therefore I have one. Uh, it doesn't matter if you use thousand, ten thousand. Make sure you give me one decimal point because this would be four significant number. But if you you have ten thousand, uh, just provide one uh, one decimal point, eh, for me. All right, thanks, eh? And then the weighted parameter would be b plus two y square root one plus z squared. 25 to 3.5 1 plus what is my exact 2.5 right. okay now how about where the parameter place 43.8 43.85 okay thank you okay so this is false significant number um so i have that i can solve for this already this term here Right, I can solve for this sum here and I can solve for S0. So therefore, let's solve for S0. Okay, what will be my S not? 0 0.0015 Okay, so 0 0.001550 0. Again, for significant number So, um, all of you got the same answer? Yes Okay, great Okay, now we have not solved for this question yet it actually asks for the length of the channel. So what? how do we relate the slope with the length of the channel? See, we come back to here, okay? The slope would be, you know that it's actually tangent, right, of this. So the slope S0 is actually tangent of, if I say this is beta, right, it's tangent of beta, which is, um, tentatively, I put this is dh, uh, sorry, uh, I put vertical lah, is here dv, this is dh, horizontal. Alright, so this would be dv over dh. Uh, which is actually delta, uh, delta v over delta h. The difference. Uh. Um, now, uh, we have that. We said S0 is actually d vertical. The difference in vertical over the difference in horizontal. So, we, our L would be, you see, uh, here. This L here is actually the horizontal one, not the sloping. Actually, we can actually find the sloping as well. Don't worry. Let's find this first, dh first. Um, now, let me tell you, uh, um, in chapter 1, uh, we have already assumed, remember that I said the normal depth and the uh, uniform depth are almost the same. Because in open channel, the slope are very small. Um, the, the angle of the slope are basically yeah, are very small. So you can um, actually, uh, this horizontal, what can, you can do is, this horizontal is actually almost the same as the sloping uh, length. Uh, so let's let's prove it, all right? So we have here, um, oh, sorry. Uh, the, the, the thing that we need to find is, this is provided, okay? Uh, this is the one we, we need to find. So dh, I'm going to rewrite this. Um, so this is, this, this is, I could put like this, all right? L is actually equal to dh. Oh, oh, I'll, I'm going to prove it later. So this would be um, 685 
the upstream height or elevation minus 650, the downstream elevation divided by our slope would be 0 0.001550. Therefore, what is your L or DH? 22,559.2227. Uh, okay. Uh, a four significant number. This is already four significant number, but uh, just provide one de uh, decimal point is fine now. So this is the guy. All right. So you have this. Now let's prove this. I I, I mentioned that. Okay. The you you probably thought okay the length of this channel would be a huge difference, right? Let's let's look at this. This is the length of the channel, basically, lah. All right. Um, this is the horizontal length, and this is the vertical. This is actually thirty-five, right? The difference would be thirty-five meter. Uh, this would be two two five eight zero point six meter. Now the this length would be thirty-five squared. Look at this. This number is very small, right? So basically, it's almost negligible, lah. Okay. Now, if you can help me find this out, all right, this actually will give you about, oh, almost the same, eh? which is 22,580.6 meter as well, because this slope is very, very small, okay? All right, um, as you have, you can see in here, all right, this is the guy, all right, okay, it's small too, eh? okay, uh, I hope you are clear, any question on this uh, uh, question here? Anyone? Do you have any question? So far so good, eh? Okay. Um, let's see. Let's look at the next question. Uh, which is this guy here. Okay. Um... Okay, I think I have the solution, a bit of solution there. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, this is very fast to solve. So I'm going to solve it, right? This is very fast. Uh, actually, we can solve this very fast. Um, a triangular, okay? This is 60 degree. Uh, Q would be 0 0.35. Meter cube, okay. Depth of flow, zero point eight meter. This is actually uh, you depth of uniform flow. The symbol we are going to use. Why not, eh? Um, and then the bed slope. Okay, fine. Chazy coefficient. So this is easy. Uh, so I'm going to write the Chazy formula here. So you have that, then, okay, then you have, uh, I, we need to find this, this guy, this is available, okay, this is available, so A would be Z, Y squared, uh, okay, again, somebody help me find Z? Zero point five seven seven four. Okay, great, thank you. So, <laughs> thanks, eh? Uh, this is thirty degree, all right. Um, this is sixty degree. So I could have this is one z. So tangent thirty degree is equal to z over one. That means z is uh, tangent thirty lah. Or I could say, uh, like just now, Kathleen mentioned, right? Uh, he, she could use tangent 60 degree, which is 1 over z. So therefore, z is 1 over tangent 60 degree. All right. Oh, sorry, you didn't <laughs> see it just now. So it, either way, you can use it. You'll get the same answer, which is 0 0.5774. So therefore... This would be 0 0.5774. Oh, it's in on the slide already, eh? So, so A would be, what is A? 
zero point three six nine five. Okay, thank you. What is weather parameter then? One point eight four eight. All right, thank you. So therefore, you can solve for this one already. A is zero point three six nine five. So what will be our cheesy then? Twenty three point six eight. All right. Okay. So there you have it. It's very easy, eh? Simple as that. Okay, let's look at this question here, Alama. Just a second. I think I have my answer there already. Throw that out. Okay, this activity. Let's try this. Um, so we have activity two point one two. Now, so far, all right. Um, you know we have this formula here, right? So far. Uh, it's either ask for many or chasey, uh, the longitudinal slope. Uh, now, let's see. This question asks for the depth of flow. All right. So, um, previously, we find Q. Then, we have activity to find uh, the roughness coefficient, uh, the best slope. Now, this activity is actually to find the depth of flow. Uh, depth of uniform flow. Eh? So, we have, let's look at a simple section, which is a rectangular. We have rectangular section and then the width is 3 meter. Discharge is 0 0.8. When you look at this many, you know is is actually rougher than concrete channel. Eh? I don't know which what what is it. It could be earth earth, earth channel. All right. So um, the question asks for this depth depth of uniform flow. So how are we going to find this? Let's write out the Manning formula. Now what I'll do is okay. It doesn't matter. Is it this is provided? This is provided, this is provided. The only unknown will be this one. Now, you know that this A, R, A and R is actually a function of Y. That means they are, de de they depends on depth of flow. Eh? Um, so, you can actually write A and R in terms of Y. Uh, so, so that we can solve for Y since there's only one unknown there, right? So, let's look at this. So, our flow area would be B, Y. For rectangular, so therefore we have three y not. I put there three y not, eh? because I'm using this y. All right. Um, weather parameter would be b plus two y the formula. So therefore I have three plus two y not. Okay. Now you have a and uh, p already. Um, so I'm going to rearrange this formula. So I have a r two third q n over s naught to the power of half. Um, I'm going to combine this. Eh? So I have a 5 over 3 divided by p 2 over 3 0 0.8 times 0 0.023 divided by 
Okay. So. Can someone help me solve for this? Mm. Hey, this come. Okay, this is the previous one. What is this value? This one. Hmm, can I have maybe 1.939 oh, okay. eh? Eh, 1.940 uh, Wait, uh, the one that you're giving me is this one right? Uh, yes, yes How come? 0 0.6 ah, Yes, oh. uh, this is 0 0.09 to the power of half right? Yeah. Ah uh, yes, I got this also. Thank you, eh? I, I also please check. Um so therefore now who can help me find why not? <laughs> How are you going to solve why not? Now okay, traditionally last time what we'll do is um <laughs> Actually, last time when I learned hydraulics, I don't, we cannot use, or last time this ca scientific calculator does not exist yet. <laughs> well, we have FX570 five, five though, okay. Um, however, there's no uh, function of try and error, which can be, which is very useful to solve for this. Um, later in the WhatsApp group, I'm going to share you YouTube video um, where uh, you can solve for why not. That means you save this formula equal to this, then you press solve, you are going to solve for why not. Uh, you have that function. Last time when I learned, <laughs> we learned hydraulics, we don't have that, that type of calculator. Eh? But life has been easier for you already. So you can just solve why not. Uh, last time what we did is, okay, what we we have to do is, okay, we need to prepare, you know, columns, for example. Eh? We have columns of why not. And, and of course, the one that we want to solve is this guy here, right? Equals to this, right? This guy would be this one lah. Alright, so I'm going to put this eh, because we are going to solve for this equal to this. This is a r two third. That means we are solving this equation, right? So we just try out what we did is, for example, or oh, I don't have the value there. For example, one is equal to what? That means I, I we are going to sub. We need to substitute three times one plus uh divide to the power of this divided by three plus 2 times 1, so we'll get this answer. So we are going to try out, let's say 2. If this is exceed, if this is less than this, and this is this exceed this number, therefore we are going to try a number between this 1 and 2. So this is the try, try and error method. That means we try out the y value to get, you know, the y that will give you this uh, ar to the power of 2 thirds. This is actually section factor. We are going to learn about this. This is section factor term. Um, now, um, however, all right, if you have calculator, uh, you can actually solve for this. This should be, your calculator should give you this number here. Now, if you don't believe me or if you are not sure whether this is the answer, what you can do is substitute this value into this equation. That means three times. 0 0.4264 to the power of 5 over 3 divided by substitute y not in this uh, function here all right this term here it should be equal to 0 0.6133 
Uh, if you substitute another number, that means it, it wouldn't it would not give you this eh, value already. So that's how you do it. Anyone got this? You keep quiet, eh? <laughs> Alright. So later on. Okay. <laughs> no. So okay. Try it out. Um however I'm going to share because I don't have I'm not using calculator actually. I'm just using Excel. I don't have calculator with me. Uh, but I'm going to share YouTube videos where you can actually learn how to do this. Okay. Now, what I need you guys to help me is, you know why I want, uh, okay, uh, I think, wait, should I? Okay. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, now, um, you know, just now, right, uh, I asked you to form groups. Um, I want one of the group to present how you solve this expression here using your calculator. Let me solve for try and error, lah, right? Using your calculator to produce this next class. Any volunteer from any group? I can give you bonus mark though, <laughs> but not man, not much lah. Any volunteer you not know, want to present, or should I call? If I call any group, no no bonus mark already given. <laughs> okay then, um, can I call group one to present this next week? Group one, who is group one? Sure, can can. I uh, can uh? Okay, uh. I need, it doesn't matter whether you want to appoint one person to present it or you can do it in a group. Uh, show, you guys have, you can, you can actually use your camera, you know, and show your calculator, right? How you do it with this, uh, you know, uh, expression on the, the paper and then try, you know, guide our course mate, our friends to use calculator to solve for this. Now, why this is so important to know how to use calculator? After this, we are going to have chapter 3, chapter 4, where there will be a number of questions that involve try and error. So therefore, this is very important for you to know how to use your calculator to solve for the expression of, um, this is non-linear expression, it's not direct, alright? Okay. Um, now, group, so next week, eh, uh, I'm going to expect, no, sorry, next class, uh, next week, alright? I'm going to expect group 1 to present this. Now, okay, let's look at this. Now, activity 2.13, I'm not going to do, go through it. Why? It's very similar to the previous activity we have done. You to determine the length of the channel too, all right? Try it out yourself. Uh, if you want the answer, I could share it. But, but you can actually take this. This would be uploaded too, so in the YouTube. So uh, you are going to have this record as well. Uh. Try this out on yourself. Uh, on uh, Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm, I actually want to go through a few slides, then I'm going to assign next week. So basically next week on Sunday, most of the teaching will be done by you, <laughs> not me. Uh, well, let's share the teaching, all right? Um, so we have here, what is conveyance, all right? The next subtopic is on conveyance. If you look at the um, the definition of conveyance, right? So I'm going to increase this. Uh, conveyance of a channel section is a measure of carrying capacity of the channel section over a unit longitudinal slope. Now, of course, it is directly proportional to uh, discharge. Huh? Um, now, if I'm going to rewrite this conveyance, all right? So, conveyance is actually, by definition, right, it says the carrying capacity over unit longitudinal slope. All right, this is the one. This is actually our K. This K is the symbol for conveyance. Eh? This is conveyance equal to this. Therefore, 
Alright. Therefore, for Chasey, eh? For Chasey, this would be C A R to the power of half. Because I move my S naught over here. And for Manning, alright, Q equals to S not uh, sorry, K equals to Q over S naught to the power of half. This will be one over N A R two third. So this will be uh, uh, the formula for convenience. Now, in later chapter, I think in chapter four, right, we are going to use this formula. Uh, or we, we are going to have simple straightforward exercise. <laughs> okay. um, uh, could, could someone mute? I think someone unmute their, uh, uh, this one, uh, uh, mic. So um, now, if you look at this, right, this is a constant. It will give you, this is, this will give you conveyance for uniform flow. Now, if your Y is uniform flow in this formula, that means your K would be K of uniform flow. But if your Y is not uniform, that means your K will change eh, from uh, one point to another point eh, within the channel itself. So this, are, this will be the formula, all right, for conveyance. Okay, then. Now, what is section factor? We actually have, have used this section factor before. Uh, okay, we have used this section factor before. Um, you see, yeah? um, section factor is, if you look at the definition here, it says it's a function of depth and flow, uh, depth of flow. So let's look at this Chasey equation. What is what terms or what variables are the function of flow, which is this one here? All right, A and R. So Z, okay, Z is the symbol for section factor. Now, a lot of students get confused. This Z, well, I'm using uh, uppercase Z, eh? uh, that means capital Z. Eh? Just now, we also have learned the side slope. Uh, this is lower case. So now I'm using cap, uh, uppercase for section factor. This is the symbol eh, for section factor, uh, uppercase Z. So I have there, this is equal to Q over C as not to the power of half. This is section factor. Okay. If for manning, I have a r to the power of two third equals to q n over s not to the power of half. Uh, all right. So this is section factor here. This guy here. All right. So either way, uh, sometimes they ask. This is provided. You can straight away find this. If not, they ask you to use the depth. And that means the depth changes, right, from one point to another point. That means we have to use this formula already, okay? Because this is function of depth of flow, all right? Whereas this is uh, this is not, eh? This is for uniform flow. All right. Um, what else? Okay, uh, this one. Okay, now, you know, just now, right, when we determine depth of flow, right, uh, for this exercise here, which one, eh? But this, um, not, I'll just show you. Okay. I'll just show this again. Now, for this exercise here, earlier, right, we have written this in terms of section factor. Now, for this exercise here, just now I asked you to use calculator to solve for why not. However, there are more methods. Uh, you could use calculator if the question asks you to de use design chart to find why not. That means uh, you can use calculator to check la, for your why not. If uh, But you need also to submit the graph of design chart to show your answer because the question specifically specify um, you have to use design chart or if the question asks you, you know, specifically asks you to do try and error, uh, that means produce um, or use graphical method, uh, 
That means you have to produce this, you know. Remember I said you substitute, you try one, you give what is the answer, you try y equals to 2 meter, what is the suction factor value. You have to do this and then you have to draw graph. All right. So you say this is y naught, this is ar, to the, it's either one, huh? you can change this axis to, it doesn't matter. So you get this point from this value here, um, x and y, right? And then coordinates, then you draw out, you can actually find for, um, for example, just now we want to find for ar to the power of 2 third equals to 0 0.6133, right? So you can actually get 0 0.6133 intersect at this uh, your function here then you can actually find your y naught uh, this is one way this is graphical chart so next class we are going to learn about i'm going to show you uh, exercises eh? it's actually in the notes eh? how to use graphical chart how to how to apply the concept of graphical uh, method and also design chart to solve for y naught okay now, however, uh, we'll go through this eh? because it's actually almost three. I, I actually uh, will we'll just stop at three. Eh? Uh, now, uh, let's see. I need actually, we'll, we'll go through this next class. However, um, what I need you to do is. Oh, I thought. Okay, now. Um, May I know, uh, is Husna here, not Husna Muslim? Husna, are you here? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, yes, Husna, uh, thank, thank you for responding. Um, try this out, activity 2.16. Okay. If we have time next week, I need you to present this, the answer. Is it okay? But, but it's okay, probably then, next okay. Wednesday because um, next Sunday, I'm going to go through this first and also the calculator thing, right? So probably by Wednesday, you should be able, but get, get it ready, okay? So try this out. Uh, Husna, eh? activity 2.16, I want you to present this, the answer eh? and your um, method of work as well. Okay, Husna, then Fakru Naim, are you here? Fakru Naim? Yes. Okay, you try out 2.17. I want you to present the answer. Eh? Okay. Eh? Okay. All right, thank you. No, Atira, Iliani. Are you here? Atira? Yes. Okay. So you are assigned 2.18. So don't worry, I'll try to make sure everyone uh, will at least present once. Okay, so because I have your names here, I can take out who has presented and not. So make sure you are alert. Eh? Okay, great. Um, so be prepared. I'm not sure. It, uh, I'm not sure either Sunday or Wednesday lah, you have to present. If we have time, we'll present all. Lah. Okay. Um, uh, I guess uh, we'll stop right here. Uh, for today, we'll continue next week on Sunday. Okay, so do you guys have any questions so far? No, doctor. No, eh? <laughs> right. uh, doctor? Yes. Uh, you will send the video, right? The regarding about the calculation, the why. You're using the ah, I'm going to send you the link. Ah, okay. Ah. okay. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. Because um, group one is going to present based on our activity. The YouTube video that I send, I'm going to send you, they are solving nonlinear equation. However, uh, it's, not, um, it's not the suction factor lah formula that we are going to use. Uh, so it's not that straightforward. But, but you can actually learn from it lah. Okay. Um, um, anyone else? Any question before we stop? So far, so good, eh? All right. Uh, please fill up your attendance. I'm going to once again provide the link here. Um, make sure you have, because I'm going to update your attendance is map, eh? Uh, based on the Google uh, record, Google um, form record, eh? Of your attendance. Okay, I'll see you next Sunday then. Take care. Thank you, Doctor. Take care, Doctor. Thank you.
Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, uh, okay, this is a question. Ni. Can, uh, is it we need to know about the graphical method just for, like, for no. learning purpose? No, or is no, it no, that, no, is no. It no. Uh, it's not that you need to know or not. Just, just in case the question okay. specified that you, you need to use graphical method to solve for why not, then you have to oh. use that. Okay, if okay. the question doesn't specify, you can use any method, it doesn't matter. Uh. But the easiest one is the calculator method, is it? The calculator lah, of course. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. But, but, but it depends too lah. Um, it depends, it depends. Because actually, um, in other, uh, in design, right, sometimes you are going to use design chart too. Alright? Okay, thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. 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 Yeah. Well, come, come, Nita. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Right. You're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. <laughs> Can you hear me? Leah? Yes, can you hear me? Uh, I yes, hear me. but not very sharp. Your voice is not very sharp. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't respond to your calling name, but my line wasn't so good. Uh, Leah, could you speak louder, Leah? Yeah. I, I could not hear you well. I did respond to your, but my line wasn't so good. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I keep saying hello. Do you hear me? Yes, doctor. Oh, but, but it's okay. I'm going to share the YouTube video in our group. Is it okay? Uh, okay, okay. Thank All right. You. Okay, thank you. All right.